Hello, and welcome to another video by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to discuss to you about Windows Life Cycle. Now, we all know back in April of 2014 that Windows XP had lost all support from Microsoft. Now, the purpose of this is to ensure that people are up to date with the latest uh, technology and operating system that is available to the public. Now, we all know and would like Windows XP. It was a great operating system, and it was the most well-liked operating system. But it had to come to an end. With Windows Vista being released in 2007, it's going to expire in 2017. Now, the operating system, which of course is going to be next year when the support for it ends, Many of you who are still using Windows XP and Windows Vista are receiving messages that the software or browser you use for the internet is no longer um, going to be supported in the future release. So what we're going to have to do is, is determining what operating system you should go to. Now for those who have XP, uh, chances are you're better off to buy a new computer because it's going to depend on when the computer you bought in XP, when it was built, as to whether or not it's going to support at least Windows 7 or 8. Vista users can upgrade to Windows 7, or you can upgrade to Windows 8 if you like. Now, depending on when the computer was built, you may also be able to upgrade to Windows 10. Now, for Windows 7 and Windows 8 users, uh, you do still have some time on those operating systems before you're eventually going to have to upgrade. Now, the benefit with Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 is that you are going to have a free upgrade to Windows 10 until July of 2016, whereas the free support or the free uh, upgrade for Windows 10 will stop. Now, you may be asking, what does a life cycle do? Well, the life cycle is divided into two sections, or two parts. The first five years of the life cycle provides major upgrades, such as additional features, uh, features that were removed, security fix fixes, patches, things such as that nature. The last five cycle, or the last five years of the life cycle, only provides security updates and patches to the operating system. Once the support ends, then you are going to eventually have to upgrade to another operating system. Now, with Windows Vista, it's going to be April of 2017 when it loses support. Now, let me quickly show you the... Uh, the Windows life cycle for all of the Windows operating system from XP to Windows 10. Now as you can see here in this list that Windows Vista will end April 11th 2017. Now keep in mind this is for the Service Pack 2. Now if you're still running on the Service Pack 1 you will have to upgrade to Service Pack 2 to receive the rest of the updates. And of course it will end April 11, 2017. Now for Windows 7, you will have to have the Service Pack 1 installed and you'll be able to receive the updates until January the 14th, 2020. It's currently in the last five years of its life cycle, meaning that you're only going to receive patches to fix security issues and um, operating system problems. Now as for Windows 8, you will have to have Windows 8.1 installed. If you're still using the Windows 8 operating system, which is the original operating system that was released in 2012, you have to upgrade to Windows 8.1 to receive the rest of the updates. Now the updates will continue until January the 10th, 2023. Now this is for Windows 8.1. If you haven't upgraded to 8.1, do so to receive further updates to the operating system. 
Now, as for Windows 10, uh, it was released in July of 2015. Now, they're, they're estimating the life cycle would be in 2025, but um, it's been rumored that Windows 10 is going to be the last operating system, and it's going to start doing what um, Apple does with OS X. You just keep getting the new operating system as it comes out. Now that you understand about the Windows life cycle, you also have the dates. Now these dates are the dates that will end the support for your operating system depending on what you have. Now yes, it is rumored that Windows 10 uh, is supposed to be the last operating system release. They're going to update it as a service, just like they did with Apple. Apple updates their operating system as they are released. Windows 10 is supposed to be doing the same thing, but we won't know. The first five years we're going to do major updates and upgrades to Windows 10. The last five years it will be nothing for the uh, pa uh, security patches. Now whether or not they're going to continue these upgrades like they started with Windows 10, the free upgrades, that's still yet to be seen. Now keep in mind uh, Windows Vista ends next year in 2017. Windows 7 will lose support in 2020, and Windows 8.1 will lose support in 2023. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, please let me know, and I'll be glad to answer any questions that you have. Uh, you can find our channel at uh, youtube.com slash esrepair. Thank you for watching.